from the scripture, we know that the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is coming. From the scripture, the preparation his wife has gone through to make herself ready in clean, in fine white linen, the same linen that the angels are wearing, which are coming with him in the passage, or, or, or on horses in the passage, is righteousness. The Bible says that his name is the word of God. And his testimony being a witness of his is the spirit of prophecy. As a result, if we are focused on the coming of the king and how to make ourselves ready, righteousness, the word of God. The testimony of Yeshua, which is the spirit of prophecy. What we have today, however, and, you know, if you're if I tread on your toes. Um, why your toe is there and just move your toe and forgive me for for um, speaking as an oracle. What we have today, brothers and sisters, is the mass transmission not of the word of God not of the testimony of Yeshua not of how to prepare in terms of righteousness but of theories and thoughts and worldly wisdom which the Bible doesn't tell you if you implement and walk in you will be prepared. Now, there's nothing wrong with having knowledge and having information, but we can't get confused with the information saving us. The knowledge is not going to save you. Knowing how an Israelite, knowing how to beat Pharaoh isn't going to save you. Because if it was going to save you, or would have saved them, they would not be crying to Jehovah for their salvation. And they wouldn't be turning to Moses and saying to Moses, it was better for us to die in the wilderness. So knowledge of how to defeat Pharaoh, for example, would not have brought their salvation. It just so happened that because Jehovah sought to receive glory from that circumstance, it was possible that they would not be able to be saved from the hand of Pharaoh, except he inter intervened. And it's the same for us today. It is the same for us today. I've heard people who are in what you may call the Messianic, the Hebrew Roots Movement, for example, in various parts of the world, speaking about how their last stand is going to be with assault rifles and weaponry, and they're going to defend themselves. But if you kill by the sword, you'll be killed by the sword. If you take into captivity, you will be taken at into captivity yourself. These are the patience of the saints. If we try and do certain things in and of our own strength, then instead of he being our defense, he being our shield, he being our sword, we're welding it ourselves. And through this sensory overload, you can, you can be so overwhelmed, which is what, because of what's going on in the natural, that you're ill prepared in the spirit. You've been feasting on this, this natural information, puffing up your mind with, with stuff that you need to do to be ready. You've neglected that 
the best preparation, according to scripture, is the righteousness.